Just waiting for the crowd to settle down. Bums on seats, Parky. Well, they're well oiled, aren't they, this evening? <laughs> it's going to be hard going Love back all. to uh, certain events where there's absolutely nobody watching. <laughs> <laughs> and no bar. <laughs> what do you mean? Certainly uh, enhancing a few of the spectators' enjoyment. And why not, Parky? It's Absolutely. Friday night. Come on. Absolutely. They do it at the darts. <laughs> I'm not going to do the usual. Who are you game for? What's your prediction? I know, yeah, I know you're it. bored of it. Absolutely bored of it's it. Just Let's just let it happen. It. Is it? Oh, he's got it. A bit fortunate there from the ball was good. from Yao. And out. One all. Kind of, um, you know, just with these these events in the UK, and you know, Danny Lee obviously doing a, a terrific job with Three this one. one. This has been eight years now, and it changed its name, and it's the second to Optasia, and the second year at this venue before it's St George's Hill, where it was really limited with how many people you could get in. Park, it must remind you a little bit of back in the, you know, you had so much experience through the the boom, the squash boom and everything, and you've got these kind of events that are kind of warming it up for what would be the, the biggest event of the year outside of World Championships, the British Open, which goes up again. And I mean, all these guys, I mean, yes, there's a few niggles with certain players, but it's giving Down. the other opportunity for guys outside the top Four 10, one. like, you know, your Masotis and Solomons and who are really rocketing away and on really good form so it just increases the depth of the competition for what will be a monumental British Open absolutely and I was just um, just so reminiscing a bit there with uh, Danny Lee and Stuart and Courtney two and, two and also just talking to Tommy Burden from the PSA about the, the new venue for the, for the British Open and a couple of times I was getting flashbacks of British Open at, at Wembley which of course was uh, its home for many years in the 80s and 90s and I was lucky enough to play that and saw Jahangir Khan win his 10 British Opens there. No lets. I'm really looking forward to the new venue in Birmingham. He's cleared the room to oh, play. Here we go. Just saying about decisions and controversy. No, I, th I saw enough room. Hand out. 5-2. Yeah, it's going to be at the Rep Theatre, isn't it? In it is. In Birmingham. Have you been there? Um, no, I, I thought I was going to sing there at one point <laughs> when I was younger, but it didn't happen. But they picked James Wilstrop. <laughs> oh, oh, wowzers. Welcome to the chop Hang shop. Out. Just waiting for five. a bit more of this from Gawad. That's just... Um, thanks for coming, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I was looking nice and relaxed, though. Down. Starting Four, to five. find the range now, the baby-faced assassin. I was impressed with his attitude with Diego Elias. There was a, an excitement about his game. He was moving really well into the front corners and looking like he was starting to enjoy squash again. Absolutely, and we were all, all enjoying watching him. It's definitely one of the favourites of uh, the last few years, Gawad. Down. 
hand out, 6-4. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Hand out. Not Five, just power, six. but the perfect precision there, the perfect line. Oh, that's that's classic, <laughs> classic Gawad. <laughs> You really did hear the strings. Oh, vintage. Did you hear the strings? Oh, I mean, that was. It comes up on it, doesn't it, as well? I don't know. Uh, it's, it is a how does he do it? I know. We need a bit of coaching on that one. A bit of a clinic. Good, Good luck with that. Shot. That could end <laughs> dreadfully for me. <laughs> Definitely pull a few muscles, I think you would. <laughs> Got ripping boast. That's deceptive. Just a bit of a change in the the technique and there. This, this would be a good angle. Seven. Yeah, it just comes over it slightly. Look, turns the shoulder. Dry smile from Yao. going to be a lot of a ha ha's and ooh hoo hoo. Oh, it's just brilliant. So late, wasn't it? The just wrist. The dislocating of the wrist. Yeah. But it's the timing of his movement when he comes in and he has got an amazing ability to time his, his, his 
contact with the shot with, with the movement. Yeah, it all works yeah, with the one. landing. Yeah, yeah, with the landing. Yeah, it's very impressive. Three game balls. You also like his hips as well, don't you? you He's like got lovely hips. hips. He's got to play it, Yao. He did. Got back well, Yao. He did very well. <laughs> Good improvisation from Yao. <laughs> Tough rally, this one. A little bit heavy there. You think it was just a wry smile from Gawad, who's getting a little bit winded in that rally. Yeah, it was hard and deception and there from Yao. Lovely improvisation. Considerable. Eight ten. Game ball. Still two game balls. Yeah, that's a great shot. Just couldn't recover in time there. Nine, ten, Still game in ball. the shout here, Yao. Down. Well, he's battled ten back all. quite brilliantly. He's just by two points. kept his counsel. Very, very calm, Yao. Very calm. Good focus. Tough, tough first game. A lot of movement from both. Oh my goodness me, Yao's on fire. 11-10, game ball. Great focus for the Malaysian. Really unlucky from Yao because he did the damage with the tight ball. The ball was and there to take the backhand all. volley. Yeah, that was spot on. It's flat as an Egyptian flatbread. Beautiful. Game ball. There's a fist pump. Hidden well, even the fist pump's deceptive. They are, aren't they? Very, very deceptive. It's hard to read them. Game ball for Gawad. Oh. He's accelerating on this. This certainly is. Missed it. Yeah, it was uh, a bit of an acceleration in, into and that rally. 12 all. Tie break goes on. Get that stroke. Yeah, it's a stroke me. anyway. Brilliant volley, wasn't it? From Yao. Beautiful. Yeah, he was really balanced. Game ball. Another game ball for Yao. Just waiting for somebody to sit down. You can hear the yellow Kareems. Oh, oh my god, it's me. He's smiling at him. He can't believe he's actually said what something to him. I mean, I would literally be headbutting the floor. That's a hundred court sprints for Yao. <laughs> Needs to do them now. No rest, just to hold his breath. My word. Oh, my goodness me. Well, PJ said he always says he, used, he saw me serve into the tin once, but it's not true. You're adamant about that, aren't you? Yeah, it didn't happen. You'll want to admit to your pitfalls. Didn't happen.
This is pretty entertaining squash, to say the least. And it's a very fast tempo. Down. Just everything I love about squash, really. There's so much variety, there's physicality, there's mental strength. What else is there, Joey? Well, it's... 14-13, game ball. It's got everything, Parky, it's got everything. How would you describe it? Lovely. <laughs> Flowing well. Just like the beer. Oh, that's for sure. Not in here, though, unfortunately. No. Down. Neither of these guys want to win this. And out, 14 all. Crowd are getting their money's worth out of this first game. That's for sure. They're going to run out of beer if they carry on like this. Got no chance. It's a loose shot though and from Yeah. 15 14. Huh? Yeah, fine. Hand out. 15 14. Game ball. Another opportunity here for Gawad. Just to get the advantage. Oh, it's beautiful, but he's recovered the, mu the movement from Yao. Sensational. <laughs> oh dear. Well, somebody in the crowd was a bit premature there. But Gawad managed to finish it anyway. Well, I mean, it's they're into it, so it doesn't matter, Parky. Absolutely not. They're, in, they're Sometimes loving it. Sometimes it just happens like that. 18 minutes and so much activity. Busy, busy play between these two. The last quarter final, and it's Gawad leading one game to love.